week on Love to Eat New Orleans, we're taking a trip around the Gulf of Mexico. Heading east through the southern states down to the Caribbean, we'll hop over to Central America and Mexico, then back up into Texas. When we get back home, where do we find ourselves? But of course, right here at the edge of the French Quarter on Rampart Street. Ameris and Jordan Herdman have created quite the local following of hospitality and restaurant workers. Those in the know tell us this is a true New Orleans restaurant, blending flavors from all around these parts into something very special great place to come and just sit for you know a couple of hours and eat everything on their menu and drink everything behind their bar. Everyone, welcome to Palm and Pine. All right, our first dish is corner store crudo with yellowfin tuna, pineapple big shot nok chum, lots of fresh herbs and trinkets is what we like to say. I've got my yellowfin tuna cut. It's nice and sliced. And then it's all about really the nok chum. Nok chum is a Vietnamese dipping sauce. What really sets it apart, it's uh, pineapple big shot soda. So now we're just gonna start plating this dish. We have our sliced yellowfin tuna, it's beautiful. We're gonna put a little bit of flake salt, a little bit of that Korean chili flake as well. We're gonna go ahead and straight up put our nok chum all over our tuna and around the plate. So that, that goes down and then we're really gonna start building a pretty plate. Some daikon, which is actually locals from uh, Two Dog Farms. Local bok choy as well that's been lightly pickled. Some yu choy, which is uh, kind of in the uh, bok choy family. Then some shiso, purple basil, and some mint, all from Holly Grove. So now we're gonna add some more texture with a little bit of fried shallot. We've got some fried shrimp chips here. Again, kind of that whole idea of that corner store crudo bag of chips and a, and a cold drink, a big shot. All right, corner store crudo. Pineapple big shot, nok chum. Thank you. Beautiful. This smells amazing. So we've got our shrimp chips, we've got our big shot soda, pineapple big shot soda. I can see the colors are super vibrant. Mm, wow absolutely delicious super bright and fresh so i've got my shrimp chip here i'm gonna put that fresh elephant tuna on and see what we're working with here okay <laughs> they figured out something uh, the cornerstone crudo is a really unique dish the fact they keep a local flavor by using big shot pineapple soda um, to make the sauce for it, just gives it a really unique flavor that's just, you get hooked on it, it's really good. I don't like fish, I love the corner store crudo, which is tuna, just if anybody is not clear, it's incredible, it's my favorite thing. We've started with a nice note towards uh, Vietnamese culture here in New Orleans, and then we're gonna hop from here um, all the way to south of the border, but I'm gonna have to finish and tuck into this first. This is our duck breast that we've already sous vide. So the fat is nice and rendered to start. So now we're gonna go into a cast iron skillet and finish the rendering of that fat. So these are really fatty ducks. Um, and so I wanna make sure I get a good render on all the sides. So if I need to, I can just lean it against the side of that cast iron and get that edge there. Now, because we've sous vide it already, it's pretty cooked. So I just need to kiss it on the flesh side. While we're waiting on that, I'm gonna fry some plantains. We'll let that keep going and we'll roll a tamal. This is masa dough. We make this using maseka duck fat that we rendered from the duck and then fried chilies in for the mole sauce and duck stock that we made from the duck bones. Making a ball with this masa dough and then smashing it out flat. All right, now we're gonna put the filling in. This is the duck legs that we've braised and added raisins and the vegetables that we um, braised the duck leg with we pureed and the duck skin and made a sauce to coat the duck with. These guys are nice, fried hard. Those edges, that's perfect. That's caramelized sugar. I think it's time to plate. Got my mole hot and ready. Step one is the mole. The dish is called Oaxacan mole. This is the most important part. And it takes me most of a day to make it. Everything with the mole is like pushing that boundary between uh, really darkly toasted and burnt. You wanna be approaching burnt with a lot of things in it to get that deep layers of flavor. And finally, we're gonna put chimichurri on top. 
And there you have our Oaxacan mole. The duck mole is very tender and it's almost like you get two dishes in one. The duck breast itself just melts in your mouth and the duck tamale that comes with it is delicious. The mole is the first thing I ever ordered here. Uh, God, the combination of the duck and the, uh, the masa and the sauce is just spectacular. Hello, thank you. Wow, this looks beautiful. You know, mole, it's a labor of love when you make mole. It takes time and care. Did I say love? Did I mention love? It's a lot. Wow, that's delicious. So much depth of flavor. Really tender, really seasoned really well, like perfectly. It's sort of subtle and kind of sneaks up on you. Just like here, our own roux and the different flavors and different colors of roux and how much time, there's a lot, a lot of effort um, and attention that goes into a mole dish and you can definitely taste it here. Delicious. I think it's one of those places that I could almost universally re recommend uh, to residents and visitors alike. It's always exciting and it also, at the same time, feels like you're coming home. And this is why we love to eat New Orleans. For dishes like this that bring all those flavors together like no place else. Thank you for coming to Palm and Pine. We look forward to seeing you soon.